welcome to the iDance system. This is the multi-charger and case that we're covering today. Multi-charger charges eight pads at one time, and you can have two of them to charge 16 pads at one time. It's a smart charger, so it'll take your battery and completely deplete it before recharging it up to full strength. So it always keeps your battery memory full. With that in mind, it has 80 hours of battery life. So eight hours a day, five days a week, you'd only have to charge it twice a month. For most users, you only have to charge it once every several months. It's set up so it's really space efficient. This case is very portable and movable with all the pads in it stacked like CDs. And with this trap door, you can charge it while it's put away and in the closet, leaving your gym floor open for anything else you'd like to do, basketball or any other purpose. Now, as before I was saying this is a smart charger, you can see the display for every single pad it's plugged into. It, right now it tells us the letter D, that's for discharging. It's gonna take the battery life, or it's gonna take the battery charge and bring it all the way down to zero. Then it'll change to a C to let you know that it's charging. And once it's charged all the way back up, it'll change to an F for full. As you can see, the system, very easy to set up. When you want to take the charger off, unplugs here. The flight case, or with the cart rather, all you have to do is undo a few of these. This comes right off. And once it's off, we have wireless lightweight pads. And you have each student pick one up, since they're super lightweight, they can put it wherever they like because they're wireless. Set it down. All you have to do now is turn it on and the software auto detects it and you're ready to play. And here we have our wireless transceiver, our projector, this is our power supply, our mixer, our wireless microphone, storage, amp, cooling fan, and in a shock resistant case, our CPU. Now let's turn this thing on. Now to the back. We start with our title screen. We press enter, we go down to our settings, we go to register remote control. Once here, we press 1 and 2 on the remote control, and then start detection, hit enter on the keyboard. And that's all it takes to register the remote control. So now I can hit back, go to the main menu, Select multiplayer and hit A on the controller. The next step is everyone activates their pad by pressing up. Next, the instructor selects the song. Then they press right to select the difficulties. They press right again and hit start. 